friends. We're back. <laughs> Sounds really creepy. I feel like it. Back. So thank you for being patient with our absence. We just had a lot of life going on with our everyday jobs. So I saw you guys' comments. Thank you for your patience and your love and support that you were still giving me. But let's get to it. All right, so I have footage filmed from a couple months ago. It's actually a good question. I could probably look and see exactly how long ago it is, but it's been at least a month. I have footage from when I was changing cages, adjusting from Frenchie's passing, RAP, which was really hard on me, honestly. And preparing for Moira's passing, because Moira had been sick for some time, like her, you know, seniorhood, she was on a slow decline. So after Frenchie passed away, I wanted to move the cage around and prepare for Moira's passing and for having to eventually bond Johnny with another herd. So this was my entire process of switching the herds around. I call them herds, even though I know a herd is four or more, but switching them around. We have Johnny and Moira's cage on the far left. Frenchie and Gigi's cage is what was in the middle. And Figgy and Olive's was on the far right. I moved all of the pigs minus Moira and Johnny into our bedroom. So I just took Figgy and Olive and Gigi and David, Alexis and Bebe and moved them into a temporary room or temporary pen into our bedroom. That way I could just fully strip their cages and really spray them down and wash them because I was essentially just switching them. And I was taking Alexis, David, Bebe from the bottom and then Gigi, Olive, Figgy from the top and just going whoop and just switching them. With that, I was extending Moira and Johnny's cage by two grids to give them a little bit more space. And I just wanted to do that because I just wanted Moira to like have more space before, you know, she passed away. I didn't know how long I would have her after this. And I just wanted to give her more. Alexis and Bebe and David, they had plenty of room. And they're older too. So I didn't feel as bad. And I definitely wanted Gigi and Figgy and Olive to have the biggest cage because they were the most recent bonded pigs. So I needed Gigi to have like more room to get away from, you know, Olive's little like butt little alpha stuff. No, nothing harmful, but you know, you know what I'm talking about, the alpha butt chase. All right, so here phase one is done. Cage is extended to here. I have a blanket up or a pillowcase to separate the two for right now. This will be David, Alexis, and Bebe. That was all a success. It was all a lot of work, but in the long run, it was totally worth it. Moira got a bigger cage. She was so excited about it and loved the new addition. The new addition is like where she denned out and laid out like all the time. She truly, truly loved it. I put up a blanket separating David's side from Moira and Johnny's side. I could have probably gone ahead and just like let them sniff each other but because Moira wasn't in her best of days I didn't want to like add any stress to her life so you know and I had to s separate them years ago because Moira didn't want to live with them so I kept a divider up just to like you know let Moira just have her peace so like I said I wanted David to be next to Johnny so that when Moira passed away I could attempt to rebond her back with her original crew which is Alexis David and Bebe one I figured they'd have the best chance and two with Olive's temperament and just have putting Gigi with them and Gigi is like extremely submissive. It just made more sense for me to try Johnny back with David, Alexis and Bebe. So all of this was two months ago and that is how the guinea pig jungle lived for the previous two months. And then all of the footage we took yesterday is where we are currently. Action. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, let a girl warm up to you first. Jesus, the mic is on. It's been a minute, I'm rusty. She's so bummed. Sorry, kid. It's bonding day, quite literally bonding day. So it's a long day. We've done this before. You guys have probably seen plenty of bonding videos. So I just went ahead and set up the bonding pin. I did not film it. We all know what it is, right? These are CNC grids put down my mats 
and all that's missing is a big pile of hay and some guinea pigs. Oh my God, David. Well, David, I do need to get you. It looks like you're ready. Oh my God, look at him. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen? So my thought process is Johnny, as some of you know, used to live with David, Alexis, and Bebe. I actually rescued them together. They were all part of a breeding herd that I retired and rescued. So as you can see, Johnny is laying here. So I put a hay nest actually right here so that Johnny could kind of nest next to them and get ready for all of this. So as soon as Moira passed, I lifted the blanket up so that Johnny could see them and they could see Johnny. And ever since I lifted up the partition, Johnny has been laying here. So I put hay over here so she could nest with them and hope that it will make this re, I call it a rebond because they once were together. It's just been like two years. The hope is that all that work I did in the last video was so that this bonding is a success. Oh, already a poop. Why you, are, you gotta get doo-doo on me right away. Of course. Of course, now I have a doo doo finger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. PG 13, boys and girls. Watch out. All right, so we're giving a really big hay pile and just going all in. So, with everything that I had said previously, about how they live together. My thought process with like who I was putting in here first is I'm putting the trio, David, Alexis, and Bebe, and then gonna put Johnny in because when they were all together, Johnny was the more dominant female of all of them. So I, I assume that that role will take place again. Um, she is also significantly bigger than Alexis and Bebe. Bebe is a super passive pig. Alexis is like very old in age and showing it. And like, you know, she's on her like senioritis, if you will. And then David, like he's probably gonna annoy her cause he's gonna try to hump her, but like, I think they'll be fine. So again, she's gonna be my alpha, I think of this group if it works out. So I'm gonna put her in last so that she will hopefully maybe be less territorial. I could be doing this wrong with everything that I'm saying, but in my mind, this makes sense. So I'm gonna put them in and then I'm gonna go back and run and get Johnny. So they will only be in there for like maybe a solid minute. Okay. I'll have to get waters in a minute, but not right now. Everyone's in there, they're about to find each other. That just happened. So Josh helped me get everyone into the bonding pen. We got our time lapse set up. And as soon as I put all the pigs in the cage, they just all hid under the hay pile. I can't see. And it completely stressed me out. Sarah wishes that everybody wasn't under this big hay pile she put it because it's making me nervous. Because I was just like, they're going to scare each other. And none of them know there's a new one in here. And I was, so then I started like kind of not frantically, but very calmly, but nervously in, inside of my body. I tried to take all the hay and spread it out and not let them be able to hide under it. Cause I started to feel like that was a bad idea. Span it out. Mom did not do a good job at that. Span it out. So. And then we just proceeded to sit and watch for hours and hours and hours. So we have David here. He is currently in her hiney, and that is Johnny. Johnny's here. David's in the booty right now doing his rumble strutting. That's David, you hear. Alexis is currently in front of Johnny. Johnny is telling David that she doesn't want that. Alexis is saying hi, but she did open Dude, her- Johnny seems super chill. Alexis is smelling her. Alexis is opening her mouth a little bit. Like I thought, Alexis did have, I would say, the biggest issue with Johnny. So Alexis is showing some like, sort of I think maybe my family. Alexis is actually acting more aggressive than I would have expected because she's normally so docile. I have not put water bottles in yet and I will later. 
just want to get past this initial part right now. But no one, there were no bite marks. No one broke skin. There was a little bit of butt nipping, a little power play. Sorry, I should probably talk more, but it's really hard because I'm listening and I'm trying to like listen to what they're saying to each other. Johnny right now seems like she's avoiding any issues, which I love. I mean, Bebe is just so sweet. Like I would be very surprised if there was an issue with Bebe and her at all. Alexis, I'm, I'm again, I'm a little surprised, but Alexis is the dominant female over Bebe. So I guess it isn't surprising that she's trying to make her alpha role known as a female in this group, but she's gonna quickly find out that Johnny weighs a whopping <laughs> ton over her. Tell them how heavy she is. Uh, the last time I weighed her, she was like a little over 1400 grams. Big girl. So as it went on, Alexis would kind of buck up and do the rumble strut, but she would also rumble strut and move away from Johnny. Kind of like, I know you're like twice my size, but I also just want you to know, like, these are my friends. But she's up in weight because she was eating the food that Moira wasn't eating. So for those last couple days when Moira really started like cutting back on eating anything. You know, Johnny was eating the veggies she wasn't eating, eating the pellets she wasn't eating. And so therefore, um, yeah. Johnny's got some pounds, one huh? All right, so for the rest of this, I'm just gonna time lapse it with our GoPro. Um, right, right, trusty old GoPro. Josh is actually sitting in his like editing station. <laughs> so he will be there for the remainder of the day with no headphones on so that he can referee while I'm in and out of the room. Cause I will have to leave, like I said, get water bottles. And then if they do show hours of progress of being okay, then I will set the cage up, clean the whole thing and get them ready to be all in it together. So let's just see what happens. <laughs> David just really wanted to hump her. And as soon as she kind of let him hump her, he, he was like, okay, that's fine, I'm, I'm good. Like all I needed to know is that like, there's gonna be times where I wanna hump you and I just need to know that I can hump you. And as soon as she let him do it a couple times, he f***ed off, <laughs> quite literally. <laughs> and then her and Bebe had a couple little like coffee talks, little, you know, little talks, and that was about it. And that was what I expected. Yesterday was stressful. I know all of you who have guinea pigs have had to experience a bonding session at some point, and I'm sure you all get just as stressed out as I do. I don't think I drink water during bonding day. Like I don't eat, like if Josh doesn't cook for me, like I don't eat, you can't leave the room. Someone needs to be in the room at all times. Like anything can happen in a, in a matter of seconds. It's like, oh, they're all sleeping. And then the next thing you know, everyone's chattering, lunging's happening, One, one's trying to hide in a hay pile and then it's scaring another one. It's just like chaos. <laughs> so during those five hours, Josh was in the room for like, I would say a solid two hours editing videos while they were like right behind him. And I went into the pig room and did the whole like breakdown of the cages, take down the wall divider, spray everything down, wipe everything down, get it all clean, take all of the mats that were on the sides out, take all the water bottles out and just like wash everything and start brand new. So that means brand new bedding, brand new straw mats that I have on the sides, clean water bottles so they didn't have anyone's scent on them. And then I did new paper towel rolls and stuffed them with new hay and I just tried to do new, new, new. Obviously their um, tunnels will have scent on them, but there's really just nothing I can do about that. All right, so I'm gonna put her on this side and them on that side, ready? You ready? You're about to have a very, very big cage. I hope you guys like it. Um, ooh, and one. We're going fast. Move out of my way.
He's so happy. <laughs> God. He's so cool. <laughs> go, David, go. Happy buddy, I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys like it together. <laughs> all right, all right, get your happy juice out. I can't control myself. It's good that she was letting him. I appreciate that. So I want Josh to continue filming the pigs because I want all eyes on pigs right now since this is so new and they're just being awesome, especially David. I mean, David's being David, are we surprised? Like I said, or I don't know if I've already said it, um, but I only have tunnels and piggy bunk beds in there right now and I made sure that the piggy bunk beds have three-way exit um, just because everyone's still getting used to each other so I don't have the beds bumped up against the wall like I normally would to make it more cozy. I want it to be more open because everyone's still getting used to each other. I'm keeping it very easy to run. As you can see by David was demonstrating how easy it is to run from one side to the other. I took all of the food bowls out to have no pellets, washed them, washed all of the water. Look, they're, sh they're maybe sharing, I'm trying to figure out how to share. I put this water bottle back exactly where it was because Johnny was so used to drinking here because of how picky Moira was. So I kept that water bottle there, but then I did spread out the other ones. I took all of these out because there were some in Johnny's cage and some in the trio's cage. And because it had their scent on it, I just went ahead, took them out and I'll put up new ones. And then stuffed rolls of hay are the only other enrichment I'm gonna have in there for right now. I don't want any like um, cubes or like Timothy straws or anything like that because I don't want them to be possessive. It's kind of like dogs. Hi guys. Look, there's some hay here. I'm pretty sure he's humping her right now. It's like so hard to try to like <laughs> concentrate on talking because I can't stop watching. I'm glad you're hydrating. All right, so we're in here, which means I'm now going to be in here for another few hours monitoring them in their new place. But so far we made it through stage one. Stage two is, if they can make it work in here. <laughs> We did it, guys. They bonded. I put them in their cage. It got a little dicey again, as in like a little bit more alpha talking, but I wanna say by after th three hours of being in the cage, I didn't. <laughs> I was like half napping on the floor in there after a while and Josh came in and he was like, do you mean to bring you like a pillow and a blanket? And I was like, no. It's been really quiet for a long time, but I'm just gonna lay here for a little while, make sure for a little bit longer. I eat my dinner in there. But yeah, I would say after about three hours of being in the new cage, all was settled, all was well. We had a nice veggie dinner. So since veggies last night, which it's been about 24 hours since veggies, everyone's been on their best behavior. And honestly, Johnny and Alexis will like eat out of their food bowl together. They'll graze on hay next to each other. Whereas all of the hours prior to veggies of last night, every time they would get just close enough to each other, it'd be like, you know, it wasn't like full on chatter, but it was like the, a little bit of like grind tapping happening. You know what I'm talking about. So I'm afraid to jinx it too much and say, all is wonderful and great and perfect, but everything is going really well. And 
right this moment. I'm very happy. And they are currently bonded. <laughs> and we just have to hope it stays that way. So that is the latest update on the guinea pig jungle. We are now a jungle of seven. I will really, really miss my sweet Moira. She um, was a very special, special piggy in my heart. And I will miss her sassiness and her cheekiness and her demanding behavior. She was truly a remarkable piggy. And I will miss her and Frenchie very, very much. But thank you for being here, guys. I love you. And we'll see you next time.